Let us go. I cannot wait any longer. I am hungry. Do luck. It was a troll, was it not? Oh! I oft confuse them with goblins. A proper meal has not passed my lips in days. How sound this. We moved with haste through a labyrinth of narrow tunnels, till at last our path brought us to the heart of the creature's lair. One cannot find in words the joy we felt to behold the child alive. But alas... Food! Surely there be It some... is as wizard. I do no such Dulac. thing. Dulac, where is... Hmm? Do oh, not... I gave it away. When? We returned the child to its parents and came straight home. <sighs> the villager. With the broken... His need was greater than ours. No, it was not. We have to eat. It was the honorable thing to do. A word that escapes your very being. Well, as of tomorrow, your honor will have us starving in a ditch. But as long as Mr. Bloody, whoever he was, has a working cart... You're a foolish man, Dulac. And you, Faye, are a heartless creature. <sighs> Forgive me, I meant not... James! James! Come forth! Oh, good. Help me! We had best go without and see the cause of such alarm. Faye! Heartless creatures do not care. For heaven's sake! There is not time for this. Someone cries out for help. Whomever is in need may well have coin. We cannot refill our purse from in here. Fine. And no haggling this time. Heroism is not negotiable. This better be worth our while, Dulac. I do not enjoy traipsing around in the cold for nothing. This does not look to be nothing. You are lucky. I will seek word as to what happened. Do Chenta Hun. Brudmin! Espen! We had a lot of broken bread for a time ago. You are alive for day. I saw him die. There was fruit in the eye of him. A fruit I never saw again. Say him now. He spoke about the wicked devil himself. Satan! He told me that he had come to visit the dead on us all. The evil? What meant he with you? My brother was a good man. He didn't want to die like that. Let me be free, so I can bear for him. The man speaks of winged devils. I fear his mind too clouded with grief. The dead might be more forthcoming. This purse remains full. The villain cared not for court. A torn letter. Hm. Sent by Espen's sweetheart. The face is badly marked. Wounds are deep, savage. You look fey. Mayhap there's something I miss. Coarse hairs cover the arms and legs. The scent is familiar. His clothes are heavily soiled. No doubt he experienced a great horror. There is an injury to the stomach, most likely the cause of death. But it is not the work of a blade. It smells like... horn. As though the man were gored. 
There is an evil at work here, is there not? An evil, yes. The horse. Hmm. It would not be the first time Cunning took innocent guys? No. No, the hairs are fixed to the dead man's clothes. They belong to the animal. He may have seen something. The deceased. You knew him, didn't you? He was my master. I carried him since he were a child. His father, too. Did you see what took his life? <sighs> I did not. He left me here and went to the story house. Story house? I do not know this place. In the distance, you'll see it standing tall. The church? Of course. You cannot go. Their words are not meant for us. I am different. Hmm. You look like Dog, but you are not Dog. You are strange. Whatever happened to the man happened at the church. We go, now. Suddenly you are concerned? What? I just want this over with. By the headstone. Another has been claimed. The gut suffers wounds same as before. But look. Bloodied hole. Rarely are appetites so specific. May have Wings, this. yes. I did not see it before, but it makes sense. The villager must have escaped. Or the minister interrupted feeding before the demon could finish. It likes eyes, so I've heard. What unholy monster is this? In our lodgings, there is a mirror. Bring it here at once. What need are we of mirrors? There is not time to explain. Just do as I ask. Evil is afoot, most like hiding in that very church. And we will deal with it. But... Do lack. Go! <sighs> Do not dare enter until I return. It is not wise for you to come here at this time. What happened here? Somewhere a child weeps. Debris from the damage. Shedded skin. Creature grows. The letter. Aspen was to be married. The pews have been tossed like sticks. Wreckage on the inside. Both men were attacked and mortally wounded, during which time more destruction was wrought. The demon must then have shed its skin. In which case, it is still here, hiding while it recovers. <laughs> <laughs> 